the next question is implement full subtractor using 74138 decoder okay uh, from august september 2020 so uh, the given decoder specification is 74 xx138 so i have taken here 74 ls 138 you have to implement full subtractor okay so this is your uh, diagram of your 74 ls 138 which is nothing but your uh, 3 to 8 decoder which consists of three inputs and eight outputs and this uh, three are your enabled inputs okay so it is uh, g2 a dash b dash so it is uh, both are active low and g1 is active high so this diagram shows the block diagram of your full subtractor where you will be having three inputs that is your a b and borrow in and your output will be borrow out and your difference so you know that the truth table of your full subtractor will be equal to so what will be your truth table input is equal to a b borrow in and difference and borrow out so you can have all the 0 to 7 combination 0 0 0 to 1 1 1 so you are going to find out the difference and borrow how will you find out 0 minus 0 0 0 minus 0 0 so here your difference is also 0 borrow is also 0 in the second case 0 minus 0 is 0 now 0 minus 1 so when you have to subtract 0 minus 1 you have to take a borrow right so that's why you have a borrow as 1 and 0 minus 1 is 1 so here, here you have difference as 1 similarly the next one 0 minus 1 is again you have uh, to take a borrow that's why you have a borrow here and uh, 0 the difference is 1 and 1 minus 0 you will be getting it as 1 so you have difference is equal to 1 in the next case 0 minus 1 again you have you will have a borrow so borrow you have so 0 minus 1 you will have 1 1 minus 1 0 that's why difference is equal to 0 what about the next case 1 minus 0 is 1 again 1 minus uh, 0 is 1 so you don't have a borrow borrow out is equal to 0 and difference is equal to 1 next case 1 minus 0 is 1 1 minus 1 is 0 so borrow is 0 difference is 0 1 minus 1 is again 0 0 minus 0 it is 0 so you have again here 0 and 0 1 minus 1 last case 1 minus 1 is 0 so 0 minus 1 what is your value 0 minus 1 you want a borrow right so you have a borrow and 0 minus 1 is 1 so these are your different uh, difference and borrow out value of your full subtractor now you are going to implement this full subtractor using a decoder so you know that you can write it in sum of product terms right wherever you have the difference value is equal to one so you can represent it in sum of product terms difference is equal to uh, su uh, summation this is m min terms of what are the uh, values here you have zero zero one so one two four and seven so that's how you can write it similarly borrow out wherever you have one what are the min terms you have one so 1, 2, 3 and 7, 1, 2, 3 and 7. Now if once, once you get this expression, you can implement using your 74LS138. Same diagram, I am going to replace it here, okay. So now what is your uh, uh, values you are getting? So you have to plot for your difference and borrow, right. So I have taken a 3 to 8 decoder, 74LS138. So you have enable inputs, right. So G1 is high, G2, uh, th these two are low. So low you have connected it to the ground, high you have connected to high or VCC and these will be your three combination, input combination 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1 and you will be having 0 to 7 that is total 8 outputs which will be Y0, Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4, Y5, Y6, Y7. I have taken it, okay. Now normally you will be using a OR gate to uh, express the function, right. But where uh, in this case, you have to see the output is active low. So what you will do, you will get, uh, you have to replace it by using a NAND gate. And when you, why, why you use NAND gate? If you apply De Morgan's law, you will be getting the function correctly. So what will be your uh, input here? Uh, you have to take for difference. It is 1, 2, 4, 7, right? So 1, 2, 4 and 7 will go to your difference. Similarly, what will be the value for your borrow out? 1, 2, 3, 7. So 1, 2, and 3, and 7. So this will be giving your output. So, so what will be your output in this case? So you will be getting y1 bar into y2 bar into y3 bar into y4 bar, the whole bar as your output, right? So when you apply the De Morgan's law, you will be getting uh, y1 double bar plus y2 double bar plus y4 double bar plus y 
7 double bar right so double bar is equal to so you will be getting the function as 1 2 4 and 7 so that is the reason why you are replacing the OR gate by means of your NAND gate because your output is active low okay